we can now move to the second part of lab one class sheet second part says that we need to transform the two quantitative variables that is weight and price to weight code and price code that are categorical variables and we are asked to create two categories according to the specification mentioned over here so if the diamond has a weight value up to 0.2 carats it will be considered or classified as light if it is a weight 0.2 carat or above then it should be classified as heavy weight diamond similarly we are asked to create two categories for price code variable and if the price of the diamond is up to $350 that should be classified as cheaper and if $350 and above is the price of the diamond that diamond should be classified as expensive so this is what we need to do now since word up to has been used in both the descriptions specifically in the first groups of the two newly created variables so now we are going to create these two variables up for up to words we need to terminate the value of the first group nearer to the value specified for instance it is mentioned as up to 0.2 it does indicate we need to define the first group from lowest value in the data till 0.199 carat that will incorporate in this way all the values up to 0.2 carat and in the next row we need to start with 0.2 and the maximum we let the software to pick on its own similarly we will do the same thing over here up to 350 means that we need to end up as at 3 49.9 dollars then the second group should be starting from 50 dollars exactly, exactly now we can learn or study how to create these two groups so we select transform then we click transform these options will be appearing on your screen we have two options to recode existing variable into new variables so we have an option of recoding recode into same variable another option is recode into different variables so what is the difference between the two if we use the option of recode into same variables then our existing variable will dis disappear from the data file and change to the new variables automatically that we don't want to do we want to retain we would like to retain our original variables and we want to create new variables so recode into different variables is an option that we will preferably be using now recode into different variables we click on a window will appear over there one by one we need to take the variables quantitative variables that we would like to transform to qualitative variables so we first take weight we move weight to this area and we have to name these this newly created variable as per the description given in our task sheet so weight should be transformed as weight code what I would do, I would choose the brief names to create new variable. So in name, it is okay if we name it as WTCOD. WT is a brief description for weight and COD for code. Over here, you can take notice of one thing. I did not give any spaces in between these two words what if I 
give a space what will happen to the software or what software will respond as an answer just see over here i am giving a space and in the name as well we click change software immediately identify or respond us as variable name contains in legal character what is the problem here spaces are not allowed in a name whenever we give name of any variable spaces are strictly prohibited so what we can do either we can join the two words together and we can state the name as wtc ode or we can simply use underscore if we insist upon giving a space the spaces are not allowed we can fill that space with underscore now we click change now this is the time to define old and new values connection so we click on this button old and new values we need to introduce first group the first group must be coded as one because this is the very first group we are going to create for the new very created variable and this is must be starting lowest through value so we click this option range lowest through value here you can to take notice of one thing that we are going to type the upper bound of the first group we have to end up to point 2 so up to point 2 is represented over here as 0.199 now we enter the value of the new newly created variable the first group of the newly created variable should be should be given value 1 we click add then to create the second group we need to just take point 2 zero as a starting value and software will pick highest value on its own to create a group now we click value new value as 2 we enter new value as 2 because this is the second group that we are creating and we click add and then we continue then we click paste after clicking paste we will get an opportunity another opportunity to have a look close look on the numbers that we have specified so point lowest through point 199 should be valued as 1 and point 2 zero through highest should be given the value of 2 this is perfect we can now select this syntax and we click run selection immediately after clicking run selection the software will move us to the output file and on the output file you can see the same description what we have just seen what we have just entered in the software to create a new group and immediately if we click on the file data file on the data file you can see that wait underscore code is the newly created variable that has the values either 1 or 2 see now this is the time to assign the qualitative descriptions to these variables because our task sheet says one should be coded in weight category as light and two should be coded as heavy so what we do we are now on the data view sheet of spss we should click on variable view and this is the image that you can see on the screen now what we do we need to click on the value cell of the row related to newly created variable wt_code when we 
click on this value cell of that particular variable a button will appear on the extreme right part we click this button we enter value 1 and the description or label for value 1 is light add then 2 has been assigned for heavyweight diamonds so heavy and we click ok so this is how we have entered the descriptions qualitative description for both the group of the variables that we have created now you can see right now the qualitative expressions are not reflected here so to get this reflected we just click on view value label so when we click view value labels you can now see the description for the two categories that we have created for this variable weight code are now appearing similarly we can create another variable for price code should be named as prc underscore code or prc pr underscore cod so again transform recode into different variable must be the option that we need to choose we first click reset because we need to get the previous description erased from the memory of this option so we click reset now we select price for which we are going to create a new variable prc underscore c o d e let's suppose is the name that i have considered and price code should be the description complete label now click change immediately after click, click, clicking change you can see that price is transformed to price code now again we click on old and new values and the range that we have decided for creating the first group is the lowest is from the lowest value of the date of this variable to up to 350 dollars up to 350 dollars means 349.9 and we enter the new value as one because it is the very first group we click add now we go to the second option again we enter the value 350 onwards so software will pick the highest value on its own we will just enter the starting value for the second group that's all now in place of entering the new value we need to enter 2 because this is the second group in order and now we click continue then again we click paste and we get another opportunity to have a close look on the decimal places because what is the problem sometimes students may do that they miss they misplace the decimal so maybe in a haste you may have typed the first value as 334.99 okay so that may cause a problem so just have a look again on the description to make it confirm if you have entered the correct values with correct descriptions now we select this syntax and we click run selection and we will now move automatically to the output file and in output file what you can do if you click on the data file again you are, are moved to the data file and you can now see the new variable is created with again values so again for these values we have to give descriptions to each category 
now again we click on variable view we'll come to this variable view area or sheet we click on value cell corresponding to price code variable now click this button we enter value 1 and we enter the description for value 1 in price that is cheaper and 2 is representing expensive and now you can see that this description will appear automatically okay We can now perform cross tabulation and cross tabulation we can perform as analyze descriptive statistics and cross tabs. Now select weight code in rows, select price code as column variable, weight code as row and price code as column variable. And now click paste and we will go to the syntax file select the syntax run the selection and then we get the output in this way now we could light what we expected initially that all lightweight diamonds should be classified as steeper and all Heavyweight diamond should be classified as expensive. But over here you can notice one thing. Not all the lightweight diamonds are classified as steeper. Some of the lightweight diamonds are entered or represented in expen expensive category. And it does reflect, it does indicate that the classification that we have performed or the values that we have selected or we are given for classification were not appropriate. 